Anybody else here a perfectionist? Are you all sitting back there raising your hand like, oh God, yes, Akemi, me, over here, I'm a perfectionist. Do you feel like it's a good thing? Do you feel like it's a bad thing? More specifically, that we're, when we're talking about art, or does it help you at all at art? Does it not help you all at art? Well, that's why I'm here. I'm about to sit here and tell you the perfectionism pains that I absolutely have to go through. <laughs> But uh, before I sit here and continue to ramble on, I'll tell you a little bit about this scene. It actually was done traditionally, but because it was done traditionally on crappy sketch paper, that there's no way I would have fully fleshed out this image, basically, on that crappy sketch paper. And there's a reason why. Here's a picture of somebody else that I did on the crappy sketch paper and as you can see like the more intensive detail you get into it and layer like it just starts eating into the paper so <laughs> I decided I'm gonna transfer this over and do it digitally now back to perfectionism so Google defines perfectionism as refusal to accept any standard short of perfection and Ain't that the truth? <laughs> Any of those those of you out there who are perfectionists, I'm pretty sure you can all agree that Yeah, yeah, that's cut and dry simple. Guilty as charged. Well, I have it and I hate it. I hate it. I hate it so much. <laughs> I mean, I guess it can be good. I try to see the positives in everything, and when I think of perfectionism, I try to see, well, maybe it's at least trying to help me look at my artwork, look at the stuff that I'm doing, and trying to make sure that everything has continuity, that I have a good eye for attention to detail, maybe in some relation to perfectionism, I'm not so sure, but all in all, when everything boils down to it, I absolutely plucking hate it. I just hate it. It has stopped progress for me. It has basically made me just stop anything I'm doing. Sometimes, that's why half the time I will be sketching so many things and then I just, I won't complete them. I won't further them along. It's like, okay, the sketch is good because at least I know that the sketch is like, you know, crappy, wiggly, wobbly, whatever lines. And then the moment I try to put ink to that, I'm like, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, that perfectionism just starts flaring up and I just get all jittery and then I ink something and I erase it and I'm like, now the ink lines look terrible. <laughs> oh, and there's no control Z for when you're doing something traditional <laughs> and you're inking it and you're like, ah! But at the same token, when you're doing something digitally, you're like trying to draw this one line and I'm pretty sure you're gonna see it in this speed draw. I've seen it in my other speed draws where I'm trying to just draw this one line when it comes to the line art and I keep erasing and keep doing it over, keep erasing, keep doing it over. I hate it. It's It sucks. It stops progress. Um, perfectionism has even withheld me from even starting something. Like, I would just sit down and have this mentality of, well, my art skills isn't really good yet, so why should I even draw this thing out? Why should I animate this thing? Why should I do blah, 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 the list goes on. Why should I just go and exist and try my hand at anything? Because my brain will tell me it's not perfect. Because your skills aren't refined enough to be in that perfect standard, that quota that you are looking for. It is not there yet, so don't even try it yet. You just just sit down and and don't. Just don't. So that's that's been the other thing that perfectionism to me has just been just bothered me with. I've struggled so much with that. And then, of course, last but not least, which is the most common thing, and I think everybody relates to this if you do have perfectionism, if not, um, I mean, here you get to get, if you don't have perfectionism and you're watching this video, hey, you get a glimpse into my art process life and how I struggle, <laughs> but the last little itty bitty detail is when it just, it's like there's this other voice that just nags and nags and nags when things like tiny, itty bitty, insignificant details don't look right. And if those itty bitty details aren't looking right, then suddenly the whole piece in general just just looks like 
ass. <laughs> it just looks terrible. And you're sitting there and you're like, ah, 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 and it just, oh, oh, I'm face palming right now. I am rubbing my eyebrows. I am rubbing my eyes. It's, it's agonizing. It just, I hate that. I hate that so, so much. So this also gets me to think about why do things need to be perfect? Why do things need to be perfect? Also, if you hear that clicky clacky clicky clacking in the background, that is my cat eating her fancy feast. I can't, I'm not about to apologize for my cat sh having a cameo in this video with her eating her food. Nom 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 nom. But anyway, <laughs> why do things need to be perfect? Why do you feel like things need to be perfect? So, yeah, please tell me in the comments if you have perfectionism or and tell me like your struggles with it or tell me I really want to listen to why do you feel like things need to be perfect? Why do you feel that this piece, this drawing, this whatever, this craft that you're making has to be pristine and perfect? Because when it comes to me, I, for the longest time, always felt like, if this is not perfect, then nobody will like it. Nobody is going to like this unless it is perfect. And that's actually really depressing when I think about it because it's making me realize of old mental, like, thought process, bad habits that I basically only drew for other people and not for myself. And now that I've gotten older and I've caught more, I've caught myself doing that, but I'm like, hey, hey, no, 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 no. If you will like it, that's good enough. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. And that's always the biggest thing is trying to tell yourself, it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. But it was just, sadly, this was just the case is I felt like things have to be perfect because if, if it's not, then nobody else is gonna like it. And an extension to that, it's basically like everything I drew, it's like anytime I draw something, I feel like that little kid in elementary school that just wants to go around and like show, t show and tell is every day, but with my art. I just wanna go around and show people, look what I did, look what I've done, I hope you like it. And like, I'm excited for it. And I want other people to be excited for it. And of course, if it's not perfect, it only takes that one person to look at it and be like, um, her arms backwards, or um, the fingers are wrong, or um, and then suddenly I get all into this terrible swing of things and terrible situations, just getting down and sad and, ugh, it's, it's bad. <laughs> so, um, I have struggled, and I'm pretty sure if you are a perfectionist and you're trying to be a little bit better at it. Um, I'm pretty sure you, just like me, have struggled to be so much more lenient in your work. And that is just definitely a whole rework, rewiring of my mentality, my thought process, and trying to be easier on yourself is trying to also help curb that, like, constant need for perfection and I don't even know understand why that is either it's like I'm human I make mistakes so why do I have this internal need to just want things that I myself make to be perfect like somebody else could draw something somebody else could make something and even if there's a blemish in it or a mistake in it I find that it's cool it's fine I like it for what it is it adds character but then when it comes to me and myself I'm like, if it's not perfect, then why does it even exist? Why do my own creations have to suffer like that? So it's been such a huge struggle to be lenient, to be easier, to be kinder to yourself, I guess. And it makes me realize that, you know, it's no wonder why my doodles will look so much better than finished pieces because I suddenly don't put these self-imposed requirements on them. I don't sit here and put these self-imposed requirements of it hafting, 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 that's a word, yes. Of it, oh, I don't, I lost my thought process there. <laughs> thanks grammar, thanks speech. Um, but my doodles look better because no longer do they have these self-imposed requirements of being perfect. 
And I think that's another reason why I like drawing things like chibis and just overly cute stuff and really simple and adorable because I feel like it's so much easier for me to just doodle something like a chibi than sit here and flesh out a full-bodied character with decent proportions that are accurate and everything is looking right and, and oh man so maybe that's one reason why I like drawing chibi so much more but <laughs> oof why did I make my comics not chibis because it just didn't fit the style that was in my mind but anyway um long story short long story short if you out there struggle with perfectionism or you have it and it's just something if you find yourself kind of in the similar situation that I was where it's just it stopped progress it's withheld me from even starting something or you find yourself getting so nitpicky and nagging with just itty bitty details that aren't even like you know the grand scope it isn't even the bigger picture of things long story short Please, 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 my amazing peeps out there, just go easy on yourself. Go easier on yourself. And it's so much easier said than done, because even I myself am still learning to do that to this day, but I'm still going to sit here and try to vouch and encourage anybody out there to just be nice to yourself, be kind to yourself, go easy. Um, your skills, your art, your craft, it will improve. It will get better. I'm, I guarantee it. I mean, I look at stuff that I did even two years ago and I see it today and I'm like, oh my goodness, I can draw this so much better. And at first I could only see improvement if I looked at something five years ago. But with being lenient on myself, I can now see things even drawn maybe a year ago and being like, <gasps> I see improvement and I see where I've picked up better skills and I've and I've gotten better at things and yes it will happen go easy on yourself don't be too hard on yourself all of your stuff will improve it just takes time it just takes time so thank you everybody for watching this um, I had a lot of fun drawing this I had a lot of fun talking and rambling about perfectionism the pains and the woes of it. Um, please, 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 again, I will reiterate, please tell me below, do you have it? Why do you have it? Or why do you feel a need for things to be perfect? Um, I'd love to see other people's different points of view. If you agree with me, and that's okay too, or if you, even if you disagree with me and you're like, I don't understand, then please, I want to hear all about it. I want to hear your opinions, your thoughts, your ideas. Please tell me. So, that aside, um... Give it a like and subscribe for more of this fun and amazing content. I'm having so much fun with these speed draws. They take time, but oh man, are they worth it. They're just so worth it. And remember everybody, be awesome, be you. Akemi, out.